What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Rest Hold Podcast, episode 33, the three threes, Trace Trace. Brought to you, as always, by your boys, Tanner, Fred, and me, Zach Foreman. Tanner, say what's up to the people. What's going on, everybody? Coming off a mixed bag pay-per-view, mm. some would say. Mm-hmm. A lot of things happened. No surprise that the uh, internet hated it. It was, yet again, the worst pay-per-view of all time. <laughs> I don't think it was the worst of all time. No, but... absolutely not. But uh, do you expect anything else anymore? Going back and looking at it, it is not as good as I initially thought it was. But is it the worst of no, all time? No, of course not. I mean, course. these... I mean, Survivor w- Series was bad. Survivor Series was bad. Bad. And that's like four months ago. Not that long ago. Yeah. But WWE... The Rumble was bad. Yeah. Bad. One month ago. Yeah, that was horrible. WWE has gotten to the point now where no matter what they do, they're just getting criticized. Yeah, but I mean... But like, just, even unfairly so. But that's the problem, too. Like... That's kind of what AEW caused. And that I means it's not their fault. No. Like, it's... But that's just a byproduct of that happening. Yeah. Is now it's like, well, AEW is doing have this. Manager. This other product, this other product doing, is yeah. doing something I like more. So this product stinks. Yeah. But are they even doing anything good? Because I think it is all but set in stone that the VP of the company, Cody Rhodes, is. I saw a very coming. interesting take about this. But like you said, um, dirt sheets, yeah. whatever you want to call them. Basically confirms that Cody is signed. Yeah. And that they're workshopping ideas for his debut already. I saw a really interesting point about this. Okay. And I think it's a cool discussion topic. Let's hear it. Somebody said that Cody leaving Mm -hmm. and being pushed to the main event in WWE is huge for AEW. So I can understand the argument you're making. Mm -hmm. Our mid card belt holder is the top guy, and well, not even that. Cody, oh, he said from the beginning he would never go for the AEW title on yeah, purpose. That I, was a little different. Yeah, but I think how bad does it look if Cody resigns and he's a jobber? That's not good for AEW. I don't know that the argument is there for both things, right? Mm-hmm. So, how bad is it for AEW that you let a guy who can now go main event the biggest company in the world go? That's true. Because that's the counterpoint, right? It's, sure, it's, yeah. it's, it's, well... You let go of a main yeah. event talent. Well, it's so good for AEW that our, our guy is a top guy in another company, but he couldn't be a top guy here. Or it's the recognition of, like, mm-hmm. an AEW founder. But, like, people know Cody Rhodes from before AEW. Cody Rhodes, granted, did his own thing. Successful enough, clearly. Yeah. Um, but when you come back and you're in WWE and then you're pushed to the top, you're the top guy... Like in the planet, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like, not obviously not talent wise, but you're Roman's the, number one, right? Roman is the yeah. champion. He's the champion. Yeah. Like, I don't care. You can entertain whatever you want, but you're not telling me Hangman Page is Roman Reigns. Yeah, just not doing you're not. it. When you had Kenny, almost I would almost have entertained it. The conversation was there because Kenny was like Impact champion, New Japan, and he was and, at least like a little more internationally known, right? But you're not telling me Hangman is no. is Roman Reigns. Hell no, and. Quite honest, he's not Brock Lesnar. No, not even close. Not even no, close. not at all. Um, it's funny because Roman Reigns almost isn't even Brock Lesnar. Yeah. That's actually like a cool conversation to have. Yeah. But but you look at those two guys, right? And if Cody is the guy to defeat either of them, or even the guy to come in after the guy who defeats either of them, that's a big jump up. Yeah. So is it good for AEW? Maybe. Maybe in the sense that, like, people will want to go there because it can propel you. I think the argument was more that it's not bad. I Which think, I could get behind more than it's good. I see. I don't know. I think it's more bad than good. Okay. But I don't know if it's bad at all. Because at the same time, was we as fans, right, when these signings were happening, we are like, oh, that's such a huge loss. That's such a big... The show goes on. The show right? goes on. Have we really missed Adam Cole? I, no. no, I mean, it's I can, sometimes. I can see on NXT there's a gap, right? Because if you needed something to fill, Adam Cole was, for lack of a better comparison, Adam Cole was almost like Undertaker, right? Mm. So, like, Mania, you fought Undertaker. He was Michaels. He yeah. was Shawn Michaels. He's right. not always yeah. going to be the champion. You need somebody to put on a yeah. good match. Here's yeah. your guy. So He's like, what Seth is now. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, that's a good comparison. But, like, Dean left, and, okay, like, Moxley just... Next man up. Like, granted, yeah. I like Moxley. A I like lot. I like Moxley more now. Yeah, actually. yeah, absolutely. But like, 
You know, Daniel Bryan leaves. I, it, I don't. The show. I goes miss on. a good match every once like, in a while. Like yes, our Raw and SmackDown like kind of bad weekly shows, but that's a lot of wrestling. Yeah. So is it because Daniel Bryan's not there, or is it because the writing is so meh? Mm-hmm. You know, because they have the talent. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad. I, and I think for the first time it's going the other direction. I don't. You're gonna have the same effect. You know, I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad. Mm. Interesting. Okay. But with that said, he is kind of set in stone to be in WWE. Yeah, it seems. And yeah. like Miz kind of teased it on uh, on Raw with like a family of fighters, a legend. Mm. And then like funny enough, Logan Paul, yeah. which we'll, we'll talk about a little bit. But I don't know. As it seems like Cody's all but, all but here. And Speaking of AEW. Yeah. As of today of recording... Yeah, we are just before the next big announcement. There's supposed to be another big announcement from oh, boy. Mr. Khan. Guys, Who knows? Guys. Who knows? Guys. Guys. We, I know, almost week in and week out, we're pretty critical of AEW. And, like, we're also... I think we're fairly we're, critical. We're fairly critical. I Yeah, I'll say that. We're very fairly... We're very critical of WWE. If, if, I, if we can say so ourselves, are critical of WWE. I was even more. Uh, yeah, I, because we watch it more. Yeah, that's but right. But with that said, every time there's a blip in the ratings, it's I have another major announcement. You can't do it. No. Because like we said, we'll tune in and we watch Adam Cole debut. We watch Daniel Bryan debut. But then we don't really watch again. No, yeah. And it's like that. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. And I, you know. With Rusev did that interview recently, right, where it's like, oh, well, we don't really have writers. Tony Khan will say, like, do X, Y, and Z every now and then. But other than that, we carry our own stories. You think that's why the ratings are going down? It's like, it's tough to carry your own stories because you have a lot of conflicting egos back there, right? I don't think... I think it's fine if... You still need someone to be, okay, this is what we're doing. This is how this is going to go. This is how this is going to go. Right, because even if you have an end goal, right? Mm Mm-hmm. If the end goal was always Hangman's getting the championship, and granted, that story played itself out. That was great. Great. I thought they did very well with that. But just as an example, it's like, well, you have to get there. And now you're trusting a bunch of guys with, like, an ego and who, like, to get themselves there. And AEW, like they said, they pride themselves. They're like a young company, like, Mm -hmm. bringing in new talent. Not everybody's been to WWE to see how, like, the story progresses. So maybe that's it. Maybe it's just not as interesting because the story is not compelling. And, like, when I do watch, the matches are fine. Yeah. That's not the problem. Like, a lot of their guys can go. Yeah. But the stories are not there. No. Well, we've always said, like, I've never said their wrestling is bad. Right. The style isn't for me. Mm-hmm. It's a... Like, I could watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't watch it consistently. It's a little too indie for me. Yeah. A little flippy. But, no yeah. A little flippy. Moves. A lot of false finishes. Yeah. A lot of that kind of stuff. A lot of spots. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that style. Mm-hmm. It's just, if you're into that. Which is kind of funny, right? Because... Not to go back to last week's episode too much, but when Brock Lesnar said, you need to find a way to get over, not just do your next high spot, mm. AEW is all high spots. All high spots, yeah. All high spots. Yeah. I'm going to go out, I'm going to freaking flip off a 12-foot mm. ladder, I'm going to freaking like jump through six tables, but none of those moves are even going to hurt me, I'm just going to get up and do it again. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. And I think that kind of resonates through like which guys are their top guys in terms of like... You can see the difference in their top guys of like who's top guy because he's good in the ring and who's mm-hmm. top guy because he's a character. Yeah. They don't have a whole lot of people. I mean, there are some for sure, but there's not a whole lot of people on that roster that are both. Yeah. But you got Jericho. Jericho is <laughs> one who, and I would even argue he's almost all character at this point. Yeah. He's slow and he's old. Yeah. Fair. But like Jungle Boy is all ring. Actually, the more you mention it, I don't know anyone who's really all character. Like MJF. And he's good in the he's ring. He's good in the ring. But like, I and like, but excluding like CM Punk, because I get that CM CM Punk is different, right? Because already like yeah. a made man, he's a fan attraction at yeah. this point. But like, I don't know who's like a good character over there. Like, I don't know, like Dowshausen was his name. Yeah, I don't know what his yeah. name is, but I've never. I mean, it seems like he's a good mm-hmm. character. I mean, Darby Allen's just Sting. But like, not even. But not he, staying. Yeah, with a skateboard. He's, he's tiny thing. With yeah. a skateboard. I, not again. Not to say we don't like Darby Allen, but just. I mean, I personally am uh, not the biggest fan yeah, of Darby but Allen. Like, like, he's fine. He spots. Yeah. If you like spots, he's good. 
I don't know. So the big announcement tonight, any thoughts? I think it has to be. Here's okay. It's really weird because I, the way that they're wording it doesn't make me think it's a person. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a person. It doesn't have to be any. It could be a. Pay-per-view. If it's a person, it has to be very wide. I mean, the way they're talking about it, it has to be very wide. Or wind hand. The thing is, like, if you Jay White was a big announcement, and they butchered they that, didn't say it like butchered that at that. all. No. Keith Lee was not really a big announcement, but you could have convinced me. Yeah. But now, like, you're telling me this is some huge announcement. The way Tony Khan is talking about it, like, literally talking about it, is that it's good for wrestling. Yeah, it's going to change wrestling. This is the biggest thing ever. And, like, maybe it's just, like, sister company, something. I think like, it's going to be a pay-per-view partnership with, NG, uh, with New, Japan. New Japan. That's and what I personally think it's going to be. And then that's, like, that, that is big. Or TNA. Or yeah. another or Impact. Right. One other of the companies. And that is big. For that wrestling. is big. That's very big. That is. But um, is that that new? Is this a point? life altering, like, like future of yeah, wrestling like, altering? Like, I don't think so because Impact and TNA just did this in Madison Square Garden before COVID. Well, Impact is TNA. What? Well, uh, and New I'm Japan. Sorry, they yeah, just did Japan, that. Yeah. Ring of Honor and New Japan yeah. have been doing it forever. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Right before COVID, they were That's doing the thing. It. Like, I really don't know what this could be. So to call it groundbreaking and so huge, like, I'm, I'm hoping in two or three hours we see something incredible. This is not happening. This is not what it is. Mm-hmm. Like, you better tell me, like, Jericho's in the main event of WrestleMania. Yeah, like... Like, or, the way you're talking about it, like, you, you can tell me Hangman's being added to the, 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 triple the threat Roman match. and Brock match. It's a winner-takes-all. That's, that's yeah. what you're making it seem like. And obviously, that's not what it right. is. Like, it's not even close to what it is. But if you're going to talk about it like that, it needs to be something like that. There's no way. And, like, I know he's using the phrases, and it's probably just, like, to emphasize what he believes is going to be so impactful... But, like, huge, giant, like, groundbreaking, earth-shattering, like, you don't think they're just going to, like, bring in, like, Braun Strowman and that new three-man company they formed, right? Oh, with what, him, EC3, and... And uh, Cross. And Cross. Yeah. That'd be horrible. (laughs) Like... That'd be horrible. But, like... Nothing against them. Like, that'd be a cool debut, but but the way you're talking about it is horrible. Braun would be sick to see again. I, I... I think Cross would be good, but, like, groundbreaking? Yeah, that's not very groundbreaking. I had a thought, but I completely lost it. Yeah, because it comes back. That stupid thing I said, (laughs) ugh, which is never gonna happen. No, no, yeah, that's definitely not it. (sighs) Man, but we'll see. Because the last two times where they were like groundbreaking, must see debuts, and yeah, kind of. Oh, this is what it was. Um, at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. I know Tony Khan likes to, and maybe this is genuine. Likes to act like you know he cares about the fans and isn't misleading. Last time was very misleading. On purpose. The Forbidden Door thing was On purpose. intentionally misleading. Yeah. You can apologize and say what you want. Yeah. At the end of the day, Tony Khan's a businessman. Yeah. He Tony Khan understands what, what gets views. Mm-hmm. So, I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock into this being the greatest announcement in wrestling history. Yeah. Especially, You'll know by the time you watch this what it is. Yeah. But and then you can let us know if it is the greatest. If it is the greatest, not, then I guess we'll find I'd out. I'd be leaning not. I'd be leaning not as well. The thing is... You can't have the most groundbreaking, revolutionary wrestling announcement without WWE. Well, yes, that's one hundred percent true. But I was going to say on a week's notice, because okay. you just did this big signing, this big debut, yeah. Forbidden Door, yeah. and then the ratings go down. Well, a blip. I mean, not, he has not saying. Down, he, but, to be fair to them, he has been saying like I've been working on this, like blah blah. But I just, I can't I can't think of what it could be. Also. At what point in do- in AEW's existence has he been working on something that we haven't heard about before? Oh, so like no, yeah, he, when yeah. he's working on something, he wants people to know. Yeah, so that's I, true. I don't know. I, I'm excited. Yeah, I really don't know. But this might be the last time I get excited. Until until I know Bray's coming back, yeah, probably. Yeah, because they got me with Gargano, which is my own fault. Cleveland, yeah, I worked no, myself into that thinking was it. Very intentional. Yeah. Very intentional. Worked myself into that. They got me with the Forbidden Door, which Jay White's sick, like yeah. very cool. They're gonna. And they a, did it horribly. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Um, but this is it. This like this is the last three one strikes and you're out. Yeah, if it's not it, like yeah. groundbreaking, I don't know. Yeah. Guess we'll see. Yeah, and then I guess that leads us to be critical of our, I guess our Homer company. Yeah. The Elimination Chamber. Yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the chamber. Where do you want to begin? Oh, where to begin? 
Let's talk women's. Okay. This the chamber itself? Yeah, women's okay. chamber. This was the better match. I didn't think this was that bad. I thought this I was... I know it didn't get a, I got a lot of slack. Yeah. I thought it was fine. I didn't think it was great. I'm of, not going to remember it long term. I thought it was fine. Of the three gimmick matches that have occurred for the women, yeah. you know, Survivor Series, Rumble, Ooh. this, this was the best oh, one. Oh, by far. By far. By far. Um, my only complaint, I think, is it was predictable. I mean, here's and, the but thing. But what are you going to do about predictable that? Predictable isn't always bad. No, th- and that's, that's right. It's, but what are you going to do about that? Like, Bianca couldn't really lose. Like, it didn't really make sense for her to lose. The only thing was Alexa Bliss. That was it. Yeah. And they did just enough to make me realize, like, Bliss didn't really lose. She yeah. cost herself, right? That little hesitation of still having, like, the, the therapy, mm-hmm. like, Sister Abigail, she almost hits it and then, like, freezes up. That's just enough to, like, okay. Bliss didn't lose. And that's you know? fine. Yeah. That actually is fine. Like, that's all it takes yeah. a lot of times. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a good showing for, for pretty much everyone in the match. Yeah, I didn't think anyone looked bad. No. And, yeah. and it's like, the outcome, <laughs> the outcome is still better than, I think, what happened in the, the men's. The men's one was rough. So. Real quick, let's just yeah. talk about the chamber itself. Uh-huh. Like, literally. Well. I understand. We talked about this a lot when we were watching, and like I understand. Like mm-hmm. now that we're treating wrestlers as people yeah. here in the twenty first century, like, th- this is yes. Go ahead. You finish your point. Yeah, yeah. Having like the mats mm-hmm. in the chamber mm-hmm. and like kind of babying up the chamber a little bit, mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. Like you have to protect these guys. Like it's the right thing to do. Yeah. But it's hard to sell me on how. It, dangerous and destructive this chamber is when yeah. there's mats down when yeah. there's this when there's that you're just fighting on an elevated ring that's all it it's is. like yeah. no, again like you're and right if, you're what, right what's it's, worse is like it's actually more safe than a yeah, regular because ring because the floor up. is higher yeah you're not falling out of the ring you're falling, you're falling to a a, the up, same yeah. size floor yeah it's safer it's literally safer than a regular a ring. ring um i t- we did talk about it a lot, but I don't like the square. I don't like, mind it. It, I, I know it's just little things. Yeah. I don't like that they have the big WWE thing in, in the the logo in the middle. I understand that's for the shot. Like they want the brand everywhere. I get that, but like, not that I think people should be climbing to the top. But like, we're not getting Jeff Hardy climbing to no. the top of the chamber anymore. You, the plexiglass. Like it's been plexiglass for a while. Yeah. So like, I'm not. You know, I'm Has just, it been forever, pretty much? Yeah. 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 But I'm just, like, nitpicking. It's, yeah. like, the gap now between the turnbuckle and the, the chamber. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess for, like, easy spots for, like, where Austin Theory is running right around. Away. But, like, yeah. the chamber isn't the the most, like, destructive yeah. thing on her. Like, the vi- most violent, like, yeah. whatever yeah. they used to call it. Like, it's not that anymore. No, it's not. The chains are are so loose. Like mm-hmm. the chain link is so loose. Like you could tell they're not really getting her. Like yeah. I'm sure it doesn't feel great. No, it probably doesn't feel the best. Right, but, but you're, I, there's definitely a lot more give than there used to yeah. be. Yeah, I just, mean that used to be chain, yeah. like yeah. taut chains. Uh-huh. So I don't know. It, the chamber itself is it needs to be reworked. I just don't know what you do. You can't just go back to the old one now. No, you can't. That will people. That is just too dangerous. Yeah, it's just genuinely dangerous. But I don't know what you do. I don't know. I think it's just about how you market it more than anything. I don't yeah. think you need to market it anymore as like this like, evil, destructive Yeah, just magic. don't do that. Just like you have Hell in a Cell, chamber. that's fine. Yeah. Like that was enough. Like, and NXT has War Games, which is yep. similar. Yeah, so. I mean, simply saying the Elimination Chamber, it's like the premise of the match is you cannot run away. You have to wrestle and then winner takes all. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you have to sell it anymore. It's like this. this violent, destructive yeah. machine or mechanism, whatever yeah. it is. But like, you know, that's just like neither here nor there because yeah, it's been that way for a couple years yeah. now but it's just every time it's I like see something it, need to be talked about yeah every time I see it I'm just like oh yeah what are you doing yeah especially because then you get on peacock which is the worst service of horror all time. I like every time it's just so bad it's bad for WWE stuff. It's so bad they yeah. don't care about WWE no. like they bought it they don't care about it yeah. but the network is great yeah the network was phenomenal freaking thumbnails checkpoints in the in the the checkpoints in the matches yeah, was so, so good so good rewinding live events yeah but instead we're on peacock but anyway my point is 
you realize how bad this new chamber is because on Peacock, they're like, oh, catch up on all the chambers. And, and you watch like some of the most extraordinary, yeah. violent matches yeah. of all time. Like Triple H just bleeding everywhere. The one with him and Sean yeah. at SummerSlam. Crazy. Where they're dead in yeah. the middle of the yeah, ring. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. So, not that that needs to come back, but... Yeah. Anyway. So, Bianca wins. Mm-hmm. The men's. Let's wipe it. No, no. Let's wipe oh. out all the women's matches real quick. Okay. Um, Becky... I thought it was fine. It was fine. I thought it was all right. Lita looked decent. good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah. Probably still... You can tell she's rusty. Yeah, but... at, at least. Yeah, but I thought it was fine. She had a really good reaction. Yeah, I mean she's popular overseas. I guess yeah. that's huge. Popular everywhere. Probably. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely yeah. popular everywhere. But I'm saying that's big, for, yeah. especially for someone that hasn't been around yeah. for so long. I can see her, her bringing her back for April. Yeah, she could. She could give us one more. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't know what it would be because now Becky's tied up. Yeah, but I could see it. Um. That was a no doubter. Yeah. No, that was absolutely no doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, the worst match on the card, uh, Charlotte and oh, horrible. Sonya horrible. versus Ronda. Yeah, just horrific. Just a terrible match. Yeah. I cannot believe that they are doing Ronda at Mania. Like I just, I know it's I'm what gonna, that she's gonna win. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna yeah, be talking sure. about this every week. She's gonna win for sure until it happens, and I just cannot believe it. She's so bad. Mm-hmm. She's not good at anything. No. Nope. Not wrestling. Nope. Not speaking. No. Not the character. Not interaction. Yeah. Nothing. She's terrible. Like, just saying, like, B-I-T-C-H, yeah. like, isn't cool. Yeah. Like, that's... Like, that doesn't make you, like, a bad that, That's for YouTube purposes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to put the X next to it explicit. Yeah. But, yeah, that's just... It's unreal. Yeah. It's just unreal. She's so bad. Yeah. So freaking bad. I don't know. Like, so, the problem is, like... You could work with her. Like, there are ways to fix her. And the problem is, like, they're not that crazy of, like, fixes a lot of the things. Like, yeah, like, her ring talent leaves something to be desired. But, like, she, Ronda Rousey still is a name. And it's a name, maybe if you don't love anymore, you know it. Mm-hmm. You recognize it. Yep. If you just have, like, someone work with her on, like, how to cut just, like, a halfway decent promo, yeah, it would. I would honestly be able to tolerate it. I think the issue is that she's so bad on both ends mm-hmm. that it's like, well, what are we doing? Yeah. Uh, I'm, that might be it. I, maybe I'm just too jaded already. Yeah. Maybe because the first run was just even, like, I guess worse than this. I don't know. My problem is I feel bad for Becky and Bianca. Yeah. Because, because they're they, going to get thrown on night two. If they don't main event, if they're not the main event they're on not, night they're one. They're most certainly not. BS. BS. Because they'll put on a phenomenal match. The pro. <sighs> They, the problem is they might get stuck like right before Roman. No, they can't do that. They would never do it depend, that. I mean, it depends on what else is on the card, but... Well, yeah, I don't know. So we'll see. You can't have both women's on night one. No, you can't. You gotta split it up. Mm. So we'll see. But that's tough. Yeah. All right. The men's tag never happened. Ne- yeah, Thoughts? weird. Thoughts? Weird. I don't know. I felt like maybe someone got hurt. Or I think they were running short on time. Could be time. Could be time. That's possible, too. Yeah. But I don't but, know. Felt weird. And... Are they going to revisit that? Because they oh did. yeah no, no no they will, they're SmackDown. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah so they'll we'll definitely be. It'll probably be this Friday or next. Yeah, see how they revisit that. Yeah. <sighs> Men's Chamber. It had potential. It started good. Brock's crazy. <laughs> Brock's a crazy man. It's sad to see that Bobby is actually hurt. Yeah. I thought that I was getting worked the whole yeah, time. Yeah, no. Yeah, it is a shame. I was like, oh, like Bobby's just going to come back in at the end and win. What concerns me, though, is I'm almost happy he was hurt, and I know that's like kind of So bad he didn't have to lose? He would have been smoked. Yeah. He would have got smoked, and that would have been terrible. You think they would have... You think they were going Lesnar the whole time? They had the graphic up. Yeah, but they knew Bobby was hurt. That's true. So I think it was Lesnar the whole time. Yeah. You're probably right. I think for sure it was Lesnar the whole time. Because they've been um, talking about it for so long. Yeah. I mean, the match before that was good. Like, the four guys were good. They were going. Yeah, they were doing fine. They um, were doing really well, actually. Theory is definitely the next guy up. 100%. Like, I don't know about yeah. necessarily being Like, literally the next, next guy champ, up. But, like, like, he's the future. That yeah, kid 100%. is good. Very good. Really, yeah. really good. They got to stop throwing him off stuff. Yeah, he's going to... I don't like that he's taking that spot. I mean... Brock Someone had so, to. Yeah, Brock is so safe though. Yeah. Like Brock threw him down where like he could get his legs. He threw out him legs first, yeah. basically. So yeah. he could fall. He could just over. land. Yeah, yeah. but um, you, somebody had to. But didn't and Theory it also go through the plexiglass? 
from Seth? Wasn't that the buckle bomb that hurt? Well, buckle bomb that hurt Bobby. Was it theory? I think it was theory that went okay. through. I feel like that's not that bad of a bump, though. No, it's not. But like, it's just yeah, it's a lot of bumps. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, like, somebody has to take them. Yeah. It's not going to be AJ. Yeah, it's not going to be, be Seth. Yeah, somebody's going to the last it. one. Riddle. It's not going. Oh, uh, it could be Riddle, but yeah, but he wasn't in yet. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, yeah, it was a fine match up until Brock, who apparently unscripted. Yeah, just kicked, kicked it. himself kicked out of the on gimmick. Chamber. Just yeah. kicked through plexiglass because he was supposed to just wait for his last buzzer to go off. He said, "No thanks, I'm good. Let's wrap up this pay per view." And that is crazy. Out. That's crazy. That's, that's bonkers. Yeah, like, that's bananas. It robs us of probably another three or four minutes of good match. Eh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Not that it matters, right? Because if the end it, result was going to be, be Brock. We're going to be arguing the same stuff. Yeah, if so. it's going to be Brock the whole time, it's going to be Brock. It's going to be Brock. <sighs> I just, this is, is quite the predicament. It's for, a big problem for WWE that yeah. they keep just throwing people to Brock. Yeah. Because, like, Brock can win. It's you don't fun. have to do it this way. You don't. You don't. Like, he's lost to people. Seth's mm-hmm. beat him three times. Yeah. Goldberg's beat him twice. Yeah. Roman's beat him once. Not Just at, never at yeah. Mania. Yeah. Like, it's, Triple H beat him. Mm-hmm. I think Cena lost yeah. a couple times. But, like, Cena almost beat him. Like, yeah. It, he's, he's human. Like, we've seen him be human. Mm-hmm. Like he can just lo- like he can be in a match, he can and have- it's the chamber. If you ever wanted to make it like the level playing field, yeah. like you got four guys beating up Lesnar. Yeah, he doesn't have to lose. He can look strong yeah. without just destroying everyone else. And like that's really, I think, where my problem with the result came mm-hmm. from. It's he just walked in, F five, F five, F five, and like, okay, I get it. You want Brock to look super strong, but like. At the cost of Seth Rollins, who should have been next man up, Riddle, who's hovering around that main event picture, been working with Randy for a year, yeah. AJ Styles, who's always at the top of the card, mm-hmm. and then your next like your big, next big star. And, and honestly, Theory looked the best. Yeah, Theory looked really good. <laughs> like, yeah, so yeah, so I don't know. It, it's like yeah, at what cost that. is pushing Brock Lesnar? Yeah. I understand Brock will get you views, but Brock will get you views anyway. Yeah, if anything. You got to think it's more beneficial to have people look strong against Brock because the casual fan watches sees, for instance, Seth Rollins giving Brock a run for his money. They're like, I'll tune in to watch this guy. Yeah, I like this guy. Yeah, yeah so instead I, of everyone just getting taken at fives. Yeah, and then exactly. That's it. I don't know. Um, and I guess that just leaves us with your tribal chief. I mean, it was pretty up. straightforward. This was the only time, like we said, we were never in doubt that Goldberg would, would win. Like, it was, thank God, it was like, no stress. I like how he did it too. I, I like the the guillotine. He put gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. He's been doing it to a lot of people. Anyone that's like they care about, it, I feel like yeah. he's been doing that too. Yeah. Other than like Brock. Yeah. But everyone else has kind of been guillotined, which is cool. I yeah. like that. Yeah. But um. Chamber was I don't know. It's a, it was good. It was it's okay. The thing is like the in ring performances weren't bad. No, they were fine. It's, it was fine to watch, right. and then going back and looking at the repercussions of it. Yeah, it's like is what's happening. Part of the problem. Yeah. Right. But the actual ring ring work, I think, was, it was fine, fine was to good. good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, but that leads me to this discussion. Okay. Um, I, I saw this, and this is not an original idea of mine. It was being discussed online in mm-hmm. the, the internet wrestling community. Of course, the IWC. Do they throw somehow? No. Good. There you go, guys. No. <laughs> Seth Rollins into the triple threat. No shot. No shot. What else is Seth doing? He's going to win the tag titles. No, I don't think so. You he's, think they're losing? Do you think they got added to lose? Kevin Owens is going to uh, feud with Steve I don't Austin. think that's happening. It's happening. 100%. How not, is, they're how, not missing the chance to have that happen. Then why add them to this match? Mm-hmm. I don't know. So for those who don't know, uh, Seth and Kevin Owens beat RK Bro this Monday on Raw to be added to the Raw tag team match title match whenever that happens i get maybe next week i have no idea yeah why name recognition <laughs> but do they to win to then be costed by like a stone cold or something like that no you're not gonna waste stone cold or anything like that for raw i mean you don't have to be there no just there's nothing, pl- nothing like that 
it's just like Kevin Owens is doing the I hate Texas thing. Yeah, they're yeah. asking specifically about where Steve Austin lives, and he's like, "That's the worst." Yeah, like, that's true. It they, they know what they're doing, and maybe they're just working everybody and playing into it because that rumor got leaked, whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. What else is the who else is in the tag match? Uh, Alpha Academy, they're champs. Yeah. It's those three teams. Yeah. Um. I don't know what you do. I think maybe they're at it to take the pin, honestly. Maybe. It's possible. And maybe they split up Seth and Kevin right there. I guess. I guess you could. Quick. Yeah. I don't I don't think he, there is a way to add Seth to this. The story is there the for both The story is there, right? 100%. And all it takes, really, if we're being honest, is one good promo from Seth talking about the cash-in. And then Brock just saying, doesn't matter to me, kick anyone's ass. Like... I guess. Roman just being... The One good backstage segment with Postman. Yeah. Postman Pierce, and that's it. You and think? then Pierce proposes it. Roman comes out, argues against it. And they're going to have some kind of match. Yeah. He's going to have to beat somebody, probably an Uso. Yeah. I, maybe two-on-one. Who knows? Because they love doing that they now. Do. Just bury the yeah, Usos. Just bury the Usos. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's a long road to WrestleMania. We're it's five, five weeks. weeks. Yeah, it's a long time. They could... I don't know. Do a lot of things. Speaking of mania predictions, yeah. who's fighting Edge? It's AJ. You think for sure AJ? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys were listening to the Edge promo, but he talks about, like, I want to feel phenomenal. Like, it's the little things. Like, little Easter eggs. Just a little hint at it. Maybe it's just another one playing at the, uh, the idea. There's no story there right now. The story is Edge has been on a roll of fighting whoever he wants because that's what he came back for, which is yeah. sick. It's cool. Yeah, no, it's Good fun. matches. Um, I don't think so. It's AJ. Who do you think it's going to be? C- I hope. C- 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 Cody Rhodes? No. I hope. And it's kind of the way he was talking about who he wants to fight and what mm-hmm. kind of part. I hope it's Austin Theory. He's talking about a young guy needs to step up, you know, yeah. whoever's hungry, that kind that of thing. That could be big for Theory to win. I too. think that's a cool match. Yeah. Finn looks like he's going for the U.S. title, right? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Edge wanted to wrestle Finn. You get the U.S. title match on the card. That would be a tough way to kind of mold those stories, though. I think it, but you got five weeks to do it. I also think I don't like the idea of the champion chasing a challenger rather than the other way around. Well, why couldn't that be Edge saying, I want a belt? I haven't had a belt. Well, but that's not, because it's not the promo we cut is my point, you know? I, but I mean, it's possible. All it takes no, is one other. No, no, promo. you're right. 100 yeah. percent is possible. How how frequently do they rewrite? No, no, you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. I don't know. I feel like there's time for that. When, I can see. Finn's I can contract, see Finn though. and Seth. I mean, Finn and Seth would be good. The Universal Title rematch. Yeah, it's been a while since they've had a one-on-one match. I can remember. They would tear it up. They would have a really good match. Yeah. You could do AJ and Finn. That would be. Sweet. AJ was going for the US title. Yeah. Do like a bullet club type thing. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, There's a lot is, of options. Mania is wide open. Do they have three matches? Uh, Two. Three. What's the third? The two oh, world championships. Three. Yeah, and there's three. Then the, champ, the men's. Well, kind of four because we're going to get Miz and Logan Paul. Oh, you think that's getting all the way to Mania? Oh, 100%. Miz and Logan. Think- Which, let's just talk about that for one second. Yeah. People got to relax about the Logan Paul hate. Yeah, he's like, fine. What? What's going on? I mean, he's on? not Jake. Like, I don't he's, mind Logan. He's okay. He's he's gonna be a bit of annoying. Also, if I'm being honest, I bet if he's trained at all, he's at least as good as Dominic. Oh, that's the thing. So, like, like Logan Paul is an athlete. Yeah, he's gonna take like, it serious. Hundred percent, he's gonna take it seriously. He's not gonna be like yeah, bad. especially. The bar has been set, right? Bad Bunny put on one hell of a WrestleMania match. Yeah. Like, they're going to look for people that will take it serious, also, that will like, put on good matches. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm pretty sure he's from Iowa, Idaho, something like that. Yeah. He's big, a high school state wrestling champion. Yeah, big wrestler. Like, yeah. he's an athlete. Yeah. Like, he's not just, like, I understand most people know him as the YouTube guy. Yeah. But, like, he has he's, boxing experience, yeah. whether it's amateur, whatever it is. He's He has fighting experience. Yep. He was a legitimate high school wrestler. And, like... He's yeah. not just some guy off the street that they found on YouTube. Like, and if there's anyone that's going to carry you through good matches, it's going to be Miz it's and Rey Mysterio. Yeah, like, like they're going to you're going to be fine. Yeah, there's a reason they put all the celebrities with the Miz. Yeah, like because they know. he makes yeah. it work. Yeah, I think that he'll be fine. Yeah. I think I think he'll even be good. Yeah. So I mean, I understand why there's a lot of hate for him. 
But I feel like... Get over it. I feel like he's definitely paid his dues, he's made like, his amends. Right, that's the thing. Recognized he, the things he's done bad and kind of moved on. How many times can he... Ju- like, he's a dumb kid, right? Like, he grew up a little bit. He apologized for what he does, his stupid mistakes. And now he just kind of hangs out and does his podcast, you know? If, if anything, I like it because he's got a character. Like, yeah. he's Logan Paul. Yeah. Like, obviously that's who he is as a person, but yeah. it's also a persona, like yeah. a character. I, I don't understand. He's going to cut fine promos. Yeah, like, he can talk. like, And instead, they're just going to try and boom him out of the building every time. So, I don't know. But, I mean, hey, that... Any interaction is interaction. You can play that to your advantage. Especially with The Miz. Yeah. yeah. Especially with The Miz. Um, I guess mid-card titles that we're talking about, what do you think happens? It's like, Intercontinental. I have no idea. Like, and they, the problem is they have no idea. Rick Boogs? I mean, there's a story for it. I hope not. Dude, you know what I'm thinking? It's like, with WrestleMania being so wide open, and two titles are now in one match, Mm -hmm. the two biggest titles, without it, it's not going to be a unification either. They're just going to wrestle. I don't think there's going to be unification. Of what? The titles, Roman? Did they say it's winner take all? It is. It's winner takes all. all. It's not just for the US. It's not not just for the Universal. It's winner takes all. Okay. So you got this, and then it's. But I don't think. to your point, I don't think they're going to unify it's the titles. Wrestle for both. Of them. I think the you're going to have both titles, but I don't think it's going to become one title like it did. I hope it does, and then they dump the universal and give me big gold back. Hear but me, that'll never happen. Hear me out on this, right? Does that match main event night one? So no. they, so they get the winner Hell on no. night two. No, because what is Drew McIntyre going to do? Uh, he's fighting Corbin for nothing. Yeah. What is like? I mean, Biggie's lost in the shuffle, but say Bobby Lashley's healthy. What's Bobby Lashley going to do? Realistically, what is Seth going to do? What is what is Randy and Riddle going to do? I have no idea. Are they going to fight each other? Maybe. That'd be like, cool. Are we just going to start splitting up tag teams to fill the card? Cause maybe that's how that match ends. Instead of they, Owens and Rollins. Yeah. It's, maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is, it's a deflection. The split, yeah. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Like... I know it's five weeks. It's plenty of time. This is like a way too early to be concerned. Yeah, yeah. But, but I'm a little concerned. Yeah. It's, the thing is, it's not that early. No, it's not because last year they had Fastlane or whatever, the intermediary pay-per-view. Yes, right? yes. And like, well, did they have Chamber last year? Yeah. At this time? Yeah, there was an okay. additional pay-per-view. Okay. But they also laid the groundwork for a lot of feuds going forward. Yeah. There's zero groundwork for feuds right now. And it's really tough when you have both your big titles on the same match. Yeah. It's really tough. And the way it looks is that Ziggler is going to be on stand and deliver. Yes. So that's not even going to be like Champa is on WrestleMania and you get no, that that's to, fill, be on stand to fill and a deliver. spot. Because yeah. that's going to be that's going to be on stand and deliver. So I don't even know what like low card matches are going to fill in. Uh. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, you'll you'll probably do something with Sheamus. You're gonna get a Andre the Giant Battle Royal again. Yeah, unfortunately, that's t- t- ten to twenty guys. It's like twenty, right? And, and I know that doesn't affect singles matches. Like, he's almost like... just gonna win that too. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I don't know. I really don't know what you do. They're in a tough spot. Yeah. But the thing is, like, at the same time, like, it gives you a lot of creative freedom to tell cool stories, which they will not do. Because. All it takes is one good week of Raw, one good week of SmackDown. And you're and, back. And the stories are propelling. Yeah, that's all it is. And then guess what? Next week, which is funny enough, it's like, well, we're five weeks out. That's like kind of plenty of time. Next week, we're four weeks out. Yeah. Next week, you got to have stories. Yeah. So it's funny how it like flips the switch You right need away. like at least to tease a couple of matches by next week. Yeah, agreed. And then you need to have firm foundations of those by the f- first week of March. Yeah. If you don't do that... I don't know what to tell you. I You're mean, in a tough spot. And we'll reconvene here next week, yeah. and we'll tell you the same thing that SmackDown didn't deliver, that yeah, Raw yeah, didn't yeah. deliver. Yeah, of course. And we'll be going into WrestleMania just grass mask straws. Yes. Hopefully not. Speaking of which, yeah. Um, since we're probably going to have a lot of low weeks here, yeah. especially with the pod, just because there's not going to be that much content to talk about, Yeah. figure we start doing just some like, Kind of like year in review type stuff. Yeah, let's we'll do like reflect. a match of the year kind of thing. Yeah, let's. So I'm thinking bring back the list. for next week, yeah. we'll do like a kind of like our own little Slammy Awards. Basically, we'll oh. do like a match of the year, wrestler of the year, all that jazz. Love that. And then two weeks from now, mm-hmm. just because I want to push this off, just so we have time to go back. Let's rank 
the pay-per-views of the year. Oh. Not be, counting last year's Mania. That'll be a good one. So, so from, starting at Backlash. Yeah, WrestleMania through, Backlash. WrestleMania, WrestleMania backlash, backlash through Chamber. Yeah. Do a ranking for that and see how that goes. Wow. Just off the top of my head, not a lot of good ones. I, off the top of my head, SummerSlam is Summer probably Slam. number one for me at yeah. the moment. I would have to go. I'm going to go back and watch as many yeah. as I can. Yeah, yeah. But, Let's definitely do that. That's good. Yeah. Um, Just try to keep something a little bit entertaining. Yeah, because like, we're not it will gonna, get boring. We're going to sit here and honestly, we could tell you how bad the weekly episodes are, but you've yeah. seen them. Yeah. So we'll talk about other things. Yeah. A little bit more fun. Yeah. Um, with that said, why don't you guys let us know in the comments, like what kind know, of lists and yeah. stuff you want to see from us? Little interactions. Yeah. Um, let us know who your wrestlers of the year are, stuff like yeah. that. So uh, we can. We'll see probably what... post something on like uh, probably Instagram. Yeah, get a little fan interaction. Uh, link will be in the description mm-hmm. for our Instagram, but it's uh, at resthold underscore pod yep. Instagram and Twitter. Um, so we'll probably post something either on the story or mm-hmm. the page. Make a real post about a it. Legitimate post. Um, but... You know, yeah. We're on Twitter. We've been tweeting through some of the shows. We're getting some interactions on there. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, If you like the pod, like, subscribe. Again, comment. Before we do our full wrap-up, yeah. do you want to briefly talk about NXT? Oh, you know, look at me. I didn't. I wasn't expecting to talk about like the next week's up as like a full wrap-up, but oh, you yeah, kind of yeah. just went into it. But with that said, do all those things. Yeah, definitely do all those things still. <laughs> definitely like, I can't subscribe, believe comment. I almost forgot NXT. Yeah. It was a good NXT, too. Now, this, I said this while we were watching it, right? And let me know what you guys think. And it's kind of a funny take, right? Mm-hmm. But the first hour was a very good hour of it's TV really wrestling. Hour. And it just felt Drag. like it went on forever. For so long. And, like, I don't know how that worked because it was entertaining. I, no segment happened. And I was like, damn, that's bad. Yeah. But I think also like it so might long. be a little bit on us the more I think about it. Because, like, while it's great to have... Be able, we started a little late, like 15 minutes late. Yeah. So while it's nice to fast forward, the commercials do break it up a little bit. Yeah. Like that much content on like a Tuesday night. Yeah. Just straight through is a little hard. Yeah. So that's probably why it feels longer because mm-hmm. you don't get those like breaks when yeah. you expect to. But it still did feel like a long hour. Yeah. Um, no, but outside of that, like just the the weird, you know, sense. Good show. It was a good. It was a good episode of NXT. Um, I don't like Briggs and Jensen in the ring. They are funny as hell, though. Yeah. They are funny. That's literally, like, the perfect way to say it. Um, Briggs and Jensen in the ring, very, yeah, yeah, together, they're, okay. they're dynamic, like, Great. making fun of him, like, having no luck with the ladies. Very funny. Very funny. And I love that they kept going back to it. Yeah. Like, every time you thought it was over, they kept going back to it. Yeah, and yeah. that was good. That was really good. I mean, think about it. That's how Chase U got over Chase U. Again, another great segment for yeah, Chase U. A great, another teachable moment. Another teachable moment. That was good. Um, boy, the debut. Nikita Lyons. Nikita Lyons. She's good. Yeah. So I didn't know this, and like maybe this is me just being ignorant to the product, but she was a woman's of wrestling superstar. So like that's like its own organization. Oh, I didn't apparently. know that. Um, yeah, so apparently she's from there. So she does have professional wrestling okay. experience. She looked Damn She's good. young still. She's yeah. like, what, was it 22? Like yeah. She's good. Yeah, smooth in the ring. Yeah. Like, she was doing some things, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, no, what that, uh, the sunset flip roll up? Yeah, that was, and it's quick. It's smooth. Yeah, no, she's definitely good. Yeah, she, and NXT, you kind of said it, they don't do squash matches on no. debuts. Re- they, very rarely. rarely. So, like, she got to go for I'm seven, eight minutes. Yeah. Like, not bad. No, definitely not. And, like, I know we talked about it that. And NXT's women's event used to be really strong. Yeah. It used to be easily the best in the world. Yeah. And then it fell off a little bit. Mm-hmm. They're starting to build it back up again. Yeah. Core is really good. Mm-hmm. This girl's really good. Toxic Attraction's not bad themselves. T- Toxic Attraction's fine. Yeah. They're they're good. Uh, Tiffany Stratton's good. Yeah. Like, they're definitely Raquel. starting. Raquel's still really good. I know you think he was a little overrated, but it. she's still good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Kaylee Ray's good. Yeah. Like, the the roster is back to being a yeah, quality strong. roster. Yeah, really strong. Um, just on the women for a second, that promo package for uh, Raquel and Cora. Whole, whoa, it wasn't bad. It's just like kind it was just weird. It was, like it was just kind of like it was just kind of weird. Bit. That's like, I think is what it was. Raquel, it's like funny because like obviously Raquel's not really that scared of it, or yeah. at least if she was, she played it up like she I don't know like a lot more. Fake. Yeah. Um, but like that was like a ten foot zip line. Yeah. Like, oh. that, I think that's the thing too. Like 
I think the the one they did where it's like Raquel's training was funny too because yeah. like she was having Cora do stuff that like yeah. Cora's a small girl like she shouldn't like she shouldn't be doing like mm-hmm. that's not how she would train. But like yeah, if you're gonna have them do like a scared of a zipline thing, like go to a zipline. Yeah, go WWE. find a zipline. Yeah. Like your WWE. Yeah. Can get a zipline. Yeah. But um, it was just a little weird. Mm-hmm. It felt it just felt so out of nowhere. Yep. But, we both kind of said it. It's a shame Santos is never touching he's that He's never belt. touching that belt. And it's, yeah. it really is a shame because he's so damn yeah. good. And they moved on real quick. So he wasn't even on the episode. There's no fatal four-way. No. We kind of toyed with that idea last it's a, week. A, probably a triple threat. Probably a triple threat. Yeah. Which the main event was sick. Really good. I, I, and, uh, I mean, I know whatever, like unclean finishes, whatever. Yeah. I thought that was fine. That was the perfect finish because next week we're getting a tag match of yeah. Braun and Champ over the dogs. Dirty dogs. Which will be awesome. Yeah. And as soon as you saw the cameraman hit Champ, you're like, yep, that's Bob. Yeah. It's Robert Roode. Robert Roode. The glorious yes. one. Man, we kind of like talked about it a little bit while we were watching. But at what point is bringing down people from the main roster counter? productive for NXT. I said, I think I said, you have to stop post-mania. Yeah. It's fine to get the attention now. Yeah. And I think the bigger issue is you have to stop. Well, this is the first time they've done it. I think it's fine the way it's handled with AJ. Because mm-hmm. that like wasn't the main event feud. Yeah. And it really was just a transition feud. Yeah. Where... Dolph's gunning for the title, and yeah, sure, it'll give an it'll give a nice little you know little win to Braun yeah. when he's able to defeat you know Dolph both of them, and both the of them whatever. But I don't think you can keep doing that. It's good to have the name recognition, yeah. But and like maybe it's a test, right? Like maybe WWE puts out guys they trust because AJ's a guy you trust, yeah. Dolph's a guy you trust. Like see how these young guys work with you know guys like mm-hmm. Dolph goes and like okay, that's I definitely that's think fine. that's what it is. I definitely think it's a test. Yeah. But you can't do it all the time. No. You can't do it all the time. No. Because, not that, you know, he's going to win, but that is taking a feud away from somebody else. I think this... The whole purpose of, you know... I think it's very possible that between Ciampa, Braun, and Waller, mm-hmm. two out of three are on the main roster by Postmania. I'm not sure which two... Because it depends who wins that triple threat. Yeah. I think Waller for sure is. They're already putting Champa on Raw. And that's like, why I, I think it's Champa. I know that's to work with Dolph or whatever, but I think Champa's is I gone. think Champa for sure is. Yeah. But I think that's what this more is, is all right, let's see if they're ready. Yeah. The thing is, I also don't know how much it's still, um, you know, like when Champa was with Johnny and doing DIY and stuff, mm. he didn't really want to travel. Like He just wanted to be in NXT. Yeah. I don't know how much of that you still get like how much pull you still have or eventually it's just like the company's like no we're sending you up like you can stay here with us or you can get fired like i don't know how much of that happens because i mean things also change no no you're absolutely right but i don't know i mean also if you're champa you're reading the landscape nxt isn't what it was no it's not what you and johnny built no and that's fine like it was transition Mm -hmm. it's like starting to see the writing on the wall it's maybe time it's either i go up or i go elsewhere yeah i go home so i don't know um, I guess kind of old NXT writing on the wall kind of thing. We're getting Pete Dunne and Carmelo. Yeah. Um, probably Carmelo. Probably Carmelo. But probably. Like, That'll be a really good match. Yeah. That'll be really, really that good. That probably makes it the stand and deliver. Yeah, for sure. It's um, ne- no, it's, it's next week. It's next week, but I got to think that it's like... I can see a triple threat. I stand and deliver. With for I, for sure. Oh my. Can we just... Cameron Grimes lost clean. Yeah, he lost. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, yeah. why are you still doing this? Yeah, yeah. it is a little weird because he did just lose. He lost. I don't know. It, that's the kind of thing that WWE does that irks me a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's like, you need to know when to end a feud. Especially if they're going to have a second triple threat. Yeah. Because like it's going to be Dolph and Braun and Champa. Yes. That is going to be the match. Yeah. I don't understand how you can... Th- like shoehorn in another triple threat, and I know they love to do it with the North American. They title. They do love to do the triple threat, North American title. Then you got to get rid of Dolph before. That Stanford will not Denver. happen. No, you can't. It won't no, happen. it will not happen. So, yeah, I really don't know. Maybe you get rid of Champa. Oh boy, maybe that could be the answer. Lose to Dolph and just see you later. Maybe. It's sad because 
they, no, they won't though. They won't though because backstage segment from this ep- this Tuesday was Braun and Champa talking about the rubber match. Oh, that is true. So, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, no, so not gonna know. happen. Yeah, that's true. So know. we're just gonna. I don't know. I mean, maybe that's Santa delivery then, just the rubber match, and that's it. Maybe Dolph's gone by then. Oh yeah, maybe they do that early. Could be. It's possible. Could be. Um, because he I, said he'll make it to Santa delivery. It's maybe not his champ. Yeah. So maybe that happens earlier. Mm-hmm. That I think would make a lot more sense, and then do your rubber match. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, me too. Probably won't do it though. Never. They're not gonna waste that triple threat on a Tuesday. I don't think it will be a triple threat. Oh, you just think Dolph? I think Dolph Braun. will yeah. fight Braun. Okay, maybe. In that case, maybe. Yeah. Um, you know who's extraordinarily overlooked right now hmm. is Trick Williams. Trick Williams is good, man. Trick Williams Trick is, is so he's good. He's pretty good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I know he's the hype man. Yeah, and he's good on the mic. He That's is. What I'm he can saying. Call. He's the hype man for Carmelo, yeah. but he puts Carmelo to shame on the mic. Yeah, he does. He's and a like, lot better. Carmelo's fine on the mic. Yeah, no, but Carmelo's pretty good. Trick on the mic. is like a, a natural, gifted talker. Yeah, he is. They should yeah. let him talk more. Yeah, hundred percent. Because he is a gifted talker. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, when he talk, it's like funny, yeah. but also like believable. Like yeah. I believe you're talking, you know, trash. Yeah. He's definitely got that football talk. Yeah. Yeah. So Carmelo, he's kind of doing the A champion thing a little too much. My thing is this. I said it from the beginning. Yeah. It seems like he's not comfortable being a heel. Yeah, like he's not arrogant. Like no, he that's, seems, that's what it is. He seems like he's like too genuine. He's too of like a, a good, nice guy. Yeah. yeah, and then like he's not. We're really like arrogant. Trick being like a college football player knows yeah. how to turn it on. Yeah, like can play it up a little. Yeah. bit. Yeah, I don't know. May I'm, and this is not to say Carmelo's bad at all. But no, not at all. I'm it's sure just, it'll he, rub off on him. Too. It just seems a little uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what it seems like more than anything. Mm-hmm. But anything else? I think that's all I got. Um, Imperium. Yeah, I mean we'll get there. It's, but that would be a good match next week. Yeah. But Solo Sokoa versus Gunther. I feel like this is a, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a little too early, but this feels like a winner's next man up after this is all settled. Do you love the thought of either of them losing right now? No, nah, but NXT does this. They've, they've done this for a long time. Yeah, they do, but I... Walter, Gunther, just coming over full time. I mean, it's not going to end... I mean, it might end clean, but in terms of like no the, physical interference, but like but a distraction. There will definitely be a fight at ringside yeah. between Imperium and and the Diamond Mine as or, like a little nod to Solo for this week. Yeah, they'll have to be. Yeah, and maybe or maybe some sort of like distraction from Solo's actual next opponent because I just don't know that maybe that from the Usos. Wall- no, I'm just oh, wow, no. I just don't know that him and Walter are like the end game. I mean, yeah, yeah, I feel like you're saying. Pick the biggest, baddest man in the yard and knock him down. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. I feel like you're saying. Speaking of which, Malcolm's funny. Malcolm's, Malcolm's just so good. He's just so good, good, man. He's good. <laughs> yes. So good. You got the juice, ooze. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, he's good. He's funny. Yeah. yeah. Malcolm is a, a diamond in the diamond. rough. <laughs> the well diamond done. mine. Well done. Yeah, I think that kind of wraps it up, it. though. I think that's it. I think that's it for the week. Um, again... We'll have that big announcement in about an hour and a half. Yeah, so pretty soon. We'll see. Keep your eyes posted to TBS. Are yeah. they on TBS? Yeah, TBS. Yeah, TBS. Not TNT? I have no idea. TNT, Wherever TNT. AEW is on. TNT. It's one of the two. TNT. It's Thursday, either yeah. TNT or TBS. It's TNT. Um, Are yes. they, oh, they're not on TBS yet? What? Isn't only Rampage on TBS? Is that what it is? Yeah. You know what? We do watch AEW. I just on DVR usually. I just scroll. I, yeah. I I don't know. I just do watch AEW. Yeah. And I stream it on my computer. Yeah, yeah. It's somewhere. It's, it's on one of those two channels. Thirty seven or thirty nine if you have yeah. one. Yeah, watch AEW tonight. Yeah. Big announcement. Yeah. More importantly, like the episode. Like the episode. Comment, subscribe. Comment, subscribe. Share yeah. with a friend. Tell a friend. Interact on the socials. Keep an eye out on Instagram for our little polls or yes. whatever. However, we do this. It'll be a fun couple weeks coming up, actually, because yeah. those interactive episodes are a little bit better than just the weekly recaps. Um, I know weekly recaps went kind of bad lately. It's hard. It, the, the, show week, was, the show is bad, so it's hard to recap. You so, don't want to yeah. listen to 45 minutes of us well, telling you how yeah. sh- d- d- it is. Not good yeah. it is, yeah. So, All right, guys. Instagram, Twitter, mm-hmm. at WrestleIntrewerPod. Yep. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts. 
Spotify. Give us some suggestions. On yeah, what do you guys want to see behind us? Because we got the money in the bank. We're just looking at. We got the yeah. You know the Stone Cold belt. We're looking at skull. WWE shop. We got handsome Randy. Yeah, handsome young Randall. Randy. You know. Gosh, what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> All right, that I did. Yeah. All right, people. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll catch you next time. Peace.